We are live from the Delta Plex Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bob Ecker, Gear Weaver, and Shane Fairfield for tonight's indoor football league matchup between the West Michigan Thunderhawks and the Rochester Raiders. Here's Patterson. Fakes the handoff. Actually, it looked like he was supposed to give that up to Porter, but the broken play will score anyway. Touchdown for the Raiders. It was a broken play, but a quarterback kept it, made something out of it, turned it into a two-yard touchdown run. Back to pass goes Icek. Looks downfield, flushed out of the pocket. Now he'll throw the ball back over the middle. Got a man wide open, but it's going to be intercepted. Four of the Raiders, number 21. That's Chris Johnson on the move across midfield in the Thunderhawk territory. Finally tripped up Michael Marco and Robert Pike. But Emmanuel Spann was all alone in the middle of the end zone. Adam Lanto now comes in. They'll mark this one just outside the 21. Add eight for the end zone. 29-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it is true. Right down the middle. It's sixth field goal on the season. Check time, but he's got the ball over the middle this time. Touchdown, Thunderhawks! Wide open receiver. He got past two defenders, found himself alone in the end zone. Brian Frey. The leading receiver out of the most winning most program right. in Division II in NCAA history, Pittsburgh State, the Gorillas. Robert Height behind him, three yards deep in the backfield. Takes the handoff, tries the left side behind Pruitt. Ball's Not on the much ground. in there. The ball's on the ground. And there's a turnover. Robert Height fumbled on that play. One of the Raiders came up with it, and because Marco ended up with it, I'm not sure which Raider actually made the recovery. But in any event, Robert Height does fumble the ball away at the three-yard line. Patterson with... Uh, Porter on his left hip, fakes the handoff, play action, looking, looking, throws the ball, he's got Porter at the goal line, knocked into the end zone by Ant Boone. Number zero, Jamil Porter with the touchdown reception. Out of the hold of Icek, kick is long enough and right down the middle. How about that? <laughs> That's the LC Walker Arena, that is definitely not good. That never would have happened back what, in the speaking. His high correct. ceiling is definitely a benefit to the kickers in the indoor game. All right, Jamil Porter will start in the backfield to the right of Patterson. He's got two receivers also on that side. The lefty cocks the arm once, now goes over the middle, wide open in the back of the end zone is Carter. No, oh, that's Concepcion, I'm sorry, Kevin Concepcion. For the right footer out of Grand Valley State. He gets it away, and it's good. All right, four offensive touches for Height in the first half, two rushes for two yards, two catches for eight yards, so not much yet. Throwing the ball over the middle, he's got Brian Frey, touchdown, Thunderhawk! Wow, what a quick lightning strike that was. First play of the second half. 35-yarder. Brian Bray with his second touchdown reception of the night and his fifth of the season. And the Thunderhawks are back within five. Courtney Abbott, 6'4", 350 out of FSU. Back to pass, pump fake for Icek. Goes in the corner, touchdown, Thunderhawks! Whoa, the Daniels fans. Good call, Bob. The defender feels he was interfered with, but the official says no way. making it from 50. This one he's got plenty of leg. And good. I check over the middle for Bray. Touchdown, Thunderhawks. He splits the defense. It was Terrell Gano and P.J. Pistorek both intervening at the same time, ran into each other, and Bray sneaks out the back door with the touchdown. And that's going to be a kick of about 41 yards. I don't think I thin the box like this. West Michigan's got two back deep. This would be an awesome time to call a fake. 
or get three points, but still on the other plan. <laughs> Forty seconds, clock running. I check back to pass, pump fake. Now he'll go back corner for Span. Touchdown, Thunderhawks! A twenty-five yarder. Boy, they've scored quickly tonight in the second half here, Bob. Struggled on offense in the first half, and they're finding every way possible to score here in the second. First and ten at their own five now for the Hawks. Now he's hit from behind, grabbed in the head. Now the ball comes loose. And it's going to be still kicked around. Looks like the Raiders have it for a touchdown. Jason Coley with the recovery. That is too bad. And they had, they had, we got a player down. Pray. They had Prey down the middle of the field, wide open. As we near the halfway point of this fourth quarter, kick is up. And good. David Hendricks first. 31 yarder. 43, 37, 738 to go in regulation. That's a 63-yard attempt. Wow, you he do the, you do the math. Even, that's he won't right. even quite get a full run at it. And it's, it's blocked. blocked. Emery with the block, picked up by Skodak at the five. Three, three two, two, touchdown. Oh, Thunderhawks. He picked it up just inside the 10. He darted around, avoided a couple tackles, and got himself in the end zone. certainly expanded their borders in their search for players. And that's Kevin Concepcion takes the reception from Patterson for a touchdown for the Raiders. And the lead is now back down to seven with a PAT to come, 50 to 43. Now the sub two men in motion, and they do stamp the ball just before. That's going to create more time before the 90-second timeout. And Burr Emanuel's fan, touchdown! Oh, wide open oh. again behind the defense, and Coach Fairfield was talking about that earlier, how in the world this happens. Now we got a flag in the end zone too. There might be a, an excessive celebration or something here. I don't know. But. Patterson back to pass. The left hander throws the ball over the middle. Got a man deep. Carter, this one he caught. Carter actually caught it. And again, here's a situation. Three defenders down here and they let the one receiver get behind them in the corner of the end zone. Go. Direct snap and taking the knee will be Brad Eichek. That's going to do it. The Thunderhawks have won the game 57 51, and they are undefeated 3 0 on the season. The Raiders fall to 1 and 2.